Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5. Google and Phoenix is undoubtedly one of the best Twitter clients available for Android right now. So, when the developer MVR released a new app dubbed Quote, we had to check it out. Now, Quote is a brand new RSS feed reading app built to complement Feedly's services in an attractive package. Now, setting it up is very easy. If you already have a Feedly account, you can sign into that using your Facebook, Google, or Feedly login. Once you've done that and gone through any possible verification steps, you're ready to go. At least you are if you don't have thousands of unread articles waiting to cache which I did. Now at the top of the main screen, you'll see easy access options to get to all your unread stories or your starred pieces. Beneath that are your collections and then a long list of all your subscriptions organized alphabetically. Unsubscribing from any individual source is very simple. Just press and hold the source and you'll see three options and then the third is unsubscribe. The pop-up menu also gives you the option to open up that source in a browser or mark all the stories as read. Adding individual sources is equally as easy. Hit the three dots in the top corner, then choose Add New Content. Here you can search for specific sources or you can select a category and choose your favourite sources from the available options in the list. Simply hit the plus button and your chosen source is added. Now, as far as reading individual stories goes, you can select to scroll through various stories through vertical or horizontal swiping. Now, like most reader type apps, the stories are stripped of a lot of their formatting, layout and ads. That's in favour of a clean text focused interface. On first impressions, the app scrolls really smoothly, responds well to gestures, it's attractive... It's very minimal and easy to understand. But if you have the free version, there is a banner ad on the top of the screen that's definitely an eyesore. Now you can customize how this app looks somewhat. For instance, you can change the featured thumbnail size. So in your list, you can choose to have a small or large thumbnail image or just not have one at all. You can also change the theme to change the entire coloring of the app like you can in the Phoenix Twitter app. But you do need to pay for the premium upgrade for this, which costs £1.99 or $2.49. Now, the premium option doesn't just let you change themes. You can also add multiple accounts to the app, and also it gets rid of those ads I mentioned before. Apart from that, there are a number of other customization options, like the ability to set it to automatically mark content as read when you scroll past it. Then there are the bottom toolbar options that appear when you're reading a story. These let you manually mark a story as read, or you can star a story to go back to it later and save it into your favourite list. Or you can launch the readability view, which takes away all of the distractions and just shows you the text. You can also copy or share or choose to open the story in a browser if you want to. Now, overall, this is an RSS feeder app, which is well designed, it's attractive, it's simple to use, and it has all the basics covered. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, and I will see you again soon.